Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I run EdTech Classroom, the blog, podcast, and of course, YouTube channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 19. Now, if you aren't familiar with Vlogmas, it's something that a bunch of YouTubers do where we post a new video every single day in December up until Christmas. So like I said, today is Vlogmas Day 19, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some ideas for morning meeting in the month of January. I am a big fan of morning meeting. I cover it on my YouTube channel all the time because I think it is such a wonderful tool to use as a teacher to help build classroom community. It's really great for providing your students with routine, predictability, a schedule, a structure. I, like I said, am the biggest fan of morning meeting. So in today's video, I'm sharing ideas for incorporating this strategy into your classroom in the month of January. So without further ado, let's get started. So right now we are looking at a Google Slides presentation that I put together that has one morning meeting for every single school day in the month of January. So if you are interested in checking out this specific file, I will have it linked for you guys in the video description down below. If you really love this file, I put this together for teachers to help you guys save time. So right now we're looking at slide number one in that file here, and I have a suggested calendar. So this is a calendar that I like to put together to help teachers be able to plan out morning meeting for every single day in the month of January. So the first thing I do when I look at this calendar is I'll go ahead and look at dates and put in any key holidays for the month of January. So in January, we have New Year's, we have National Sticker Day, we have MLK Day, we have Opposite Day, and I think that those are the main holidays that we have on here. Yep. All right. So we have those main holidays. So you'll notice I have some that are national holidays. We have a couple of fun holidays in there, but I like to plan those out first. And then I go in and I start adding more generic January themed morning meetings for teachers to try. Let's take a look at some of these holidays first, and then we'll look at an example of a full week's worth of morning meetings. So first let's go here to New Year's. If I click on New Year's here and I'll click on slide three, it takes us to slide number three that says Monday. So first I like to follow the morning meeting structure provided by Responsive Classroom, where you start off with a morning greeting, then you move on to the share portion, activity, and the morning message. I've talked about this a ton on my YouTube channel before, so be sure to check out my other morning meeting videos if you're looking for a little bit more information about this Responsive Classroom morning meeting structure. So right now we are looking at this good morning slide. This is going to be the morning greeting slide for our January 3rd morning meeting. So here it says, today is our first day back from winter break. It is Monday, January 3rd, 2022. It is our first morning meeting of the new year. So this is just a structure that I put together as an example for you guys. Of course, you can add more details, you can change it up, but this is how I might recommend starting off your first morning meeting in the month of January. Then you can move on to the morning share. So this one says, what is a goal that you have for 2022? So the way that morning shares work typically is students will either raise their hand and you will call on them and they will respond to the morning share prompt. Another strategy that works really well is just to go one by one around the circle and have students share. You also could do it popcorn style. It really depends on what works well for you in terms of your classroom management or your classroom systems that you already have in place. But those are some strategies that work well for covering the morning share. One other strategy that I didn't mention that you might want to try out is how students share this with a partner. So student A would respond to the question first, share their response with student B, and then they would switch. Next, we move on to the morning activity. This one says, let's count down to midnight. When the clock gets to zero, it's time to dance to ring in the new year. So this is a YouTube video that I actually embedded into this Google slide. I really love that you are able to incorporate multimedia elements into Google slides. So I just went up here to the insert video tab, and then I searched for a countdown. Um, so you can actually search for, you know, 30 second countdown. And this is the one that I grabbed here, but there are lots of choices. So the way this activity would work is you would actually just press play on this video here when it's in full screen presenter view and you would watch the clock count down together as a class and then you would dance to ring in the new year. So it's kind of a fun but silly 
activity for your first morning meeting of the new year. And then lastly, we have the morning message. So I'm constantly saying this in my morning meeting YouTube videos, but the morning meeting really, really, or sorry, the morning message really, really works best when it is unique to you and to your students, to your classroom. So here are some ideas to help you kind of brainstorm what your morning message might look like, but it generally tends to be a great place to introduce your next activity or to outline your schedule for the day. Sometimes I've seen Teachers have really successful morning messages where they've had their students do a math problem, maybe about the date. They've had their students reflect on something that they learned yesterday. They've had students practice their writing skills. Maybe you do number of the day. Maybe you like to talk about the weather. The morning message is just a great place to set students up for the next activity or to outline the schedule for the day. So this one is a little bit more open-ended, whereas the morning shares and the morning activities I have pre-planned for you guys. Of course, you're always welcome to change anything. You don't have to go with my recommendations. Next, we'll go back to the suggested calendar to take a look at a few more holidays here. Let's go to National Sticker Day. So this one says Thursday, and it says Happy National Sticker Day. This is where you're going to add your morning greeting again. I like to start off by saying today is National Sticker Day. The date is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Then your morning share. Share a time you did something that made you feel proud. Then for your morning activity, give a compliment to the person sitting to your right. I do have a remote option available here in case you are still doing distance learning. The way this one would work is you could just draw names or you could use a digital spinner like Wheel of Names to randomly call on students. But the way this one works is the student essentially would give a compliment to the person sitting to their right. So this is a nice positive way to start the day and to start off your national sticker day. Then we have the morning message. Again, this is really up to you. It's great for setting those expectations for the rest of the day. Next, we move on to uh, Friday, which is Martin Luther King Jr. It's almost Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, so here we have some information about MLK. It says today would have been Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s 91st birthday. He was born on January 15th, 1929. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister and activist. He was a leader in the civil rights movement. He believed in desegregation, nonviolent activism, and equal rights for black people. Then we have the morning share. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. dedicated his life to helping black people have equal rights in our country. What can we do to help continue MLK's legacy and make the world a better place? So you'll notice that Oftentimes in my morning meetings, I recommend that teachers use this as, as an opportunity to teach students about something, in this case to teach them about an important, an important holiday, an important moment in our nation's history. So this is a morning share prompt that can help students reflect on how we can help continue MLK's legacy. Then next we have the morning activity. So for this one, I have a MLK coloring page that you can print out. There's lots of different choices here. You don't necessarily have to do this coloring activity, but I'm hoping that this just gives you another example for how you might incorporate different types of activities into your morning meetings. Then next, the morning message, same thing as earlier. So let's go back up to that slide number one. We have one more, I believe we have opposite day. So this one says Tuesday, bad night. Today is not January 25th, 2022. It is not opposite day. On opposite day, everything you say and do is the opposite. Did you have dinner for breakfast? Will you have breakfast for dinner? Morning share, fill in the blank. If everything in my life was the opposite, I would blank. For example, I would sleep all day. Morning activity. Let's play this or that. We've played this or that before, but today there's a twist. It's opposite day, so pick the opposite of your choice. Are you ready? Are you not ready to play? And then this is a this or that activity. So typically in the classroom, this or that can work a couple of different ways. I like this strategy where you have one half of your classroom is the this category and the other half of your classroom is the that category and students have to actually move their bodies to the this side of the room or the that side of the room depending on their choice. Now, 
in the instance that your classroom is still socially distanced, you might instead prefer to use a hand raising system where students raise their hand for this or raise their hand for that. You could also even make it a little bit more fun than that. You could have students do a disco move for this. You could have them do a little sprinkler dance move for that. I don't know, I just came up with that on the spot, but just a couple of different examples for how you can be creative with this or that. So this one says, I like daytime or I like nighttime. And again, remember students are choosing the opposite. I like summer or I like winter. I like sour or I like sweet. I feel happy or I feel sad. And then next you have your morning message at the end here. So those are some of the examples of the holidays in the month of January. Again, I really like to incorporate uh, holidays into morning meeting. I think they're just great learning opportunities for students and they're also a fun way to build that classroom community. Even though I put together these slides, you don't necessarily have to use them, you, but you can use them or the ideas in this video as a guide for how you might incorporate holidays into your January morning meetings. Now let's take a look at an example of an entire week's worth of morning meetings. Right now we are looking at that same Google Slides file in full screen presentation view. So you'll see that on this first slide, we have the suggested calendar. I think that for this video, we're gonna take a look at the week of January 17th, where many, many schools might not be in session on the 17th, but we'll look at the dates 18th through 21st to give you guys some additional examples of morning meetings that you can incorporate into the month of January. So let's take a look first at January 18th here. So for January 18th, it says Tuesday. I typically recommend that teachers project this on their board while they wait for students to enter their classroom in the morning. This is just a nice way for students to come in your classroom, immediately know what day of the week it is, and it uh, kind of helps center students visually. They know that this is something that they can expect to see at the start of every school day. But that's just one recommendation that I have. If you're teaching virtually, you can also screen share this while you wait for students to enter your Zoom or Google Meet room. Then next we have the morning greeting slide. Today is a chilly winter day. It is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. Then you could have students either take turns greeting each other, you could have some sort of class greeting, or you could just start off with this short message for your students. Then we have the morning share prompt. How was your weekend? Share something that you did. So this is obviously a very simple morning share prompt, right? How was your weekend? It's not that creative, but it's really valuable for you to have that kind of conversation with your students, especially after a long weekend. So I really like the idea of incorporating simple questions like this into your morning meetings. It's a great way to connect with students and to have students connect with each other. Then we'll move on to the morning activity. Let's play red light, green light. When I say green light, dance. When I say red light, stop. This one is super fun to play, especially with early elementary students. If you want, you can adapt this. You don't have to call it red light, green light. You could call it something else. You could do something other than dancing, but hopefully just a fun example of a movement activity you can incorporate into morning meeting. So in addition to celebrating holidays for these morning activities, I also like to get students moving. It's a helpful way for them to move their bodies and have a little bit of fun at the very start of the day. Then we have the morning message. Next, let's move on to Wednesday. Good morning. Today is a frigid winter day. It is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. So sometimes I like to recommend to teachers that instead of putting the weather in the morning message, they incorporate it at the very start of morning meeting in that greeting section. You can do that by using really juicy vocabulary words or juicy adjectives, as you see here with the word frigid. Um, so that's one way that you can uh, incorporate some of your language arts learning into your morning meetings. Next, we have the morning share. Share a rose or a highlight, a bud, something you're looking forward to, and a thorn or a low point of your week so far. I typically recommend that you find a way to incorporate at some point in your week a social emotional learning prompt into your morning shares. Social emotional learning or SEL we know is so important as teachers. It's really great for uh, you know being able to connect with our students and to support their social emotional needs. So I like the idea of incorporating a rosebud and thorn prompt into a morning share. You can also do peaks and valleys, 
uh, where you ask students to share a peak, a high point, or a valley, a low point of their week. It's pretty similar, but phrased in a, using a different metaphor. Then next we have the morning activity. This tends to be a big hit with elementary students. This is one that I have talked about on my channel many times before, but this activity says, let's play guess who, ask me some questions to try to guess who I am. So you as the teacher, you would pretend to be a student in the class and you would respond to students yes or no questions pretending to be that student. So for example, let's say you are thinking of a student in your class who you know loves to go ice skating after school, that student has a golden retriever. Students might ask you a question like, do you have a dog? And you would respond saying yes, because you know that that student has a golden retriever. So this can kind of be a fun way to help connect with your students and to play a fun guessing game with them. Students tend to find guess who to be really silly and fun. And lastly, we have the morning message, which brings us to Thursday. So this one says, today is a frigid winter day. It is Thursday, January 20th, 2022. What is your favorite breakfast food? So sometimes I also like to incorporate icebreaker type questions into morning share. For example, this one says, what is your favorite breakfast food? Then we have the morning activity, another morning act activity that incorporates movement. Pretend you're climbing a tall ladder for 60 seconds. Then the morning message. And then lastly for Friday, today is fun Friday. It is January 21st, 2022. Would you rather travel to the past or travel to the future? Why? So this one is a really juicy question that helps students get thinking. I also sometimes like to recommend to teachers that if you use a juicy question like this one, that you have students think about it in morning share. And then when you are doing writer's workshop or language arts, you have them actually write out a more detailed response to that morning share prompt. So this can kind of be a fun way for students to begin brainstorming their ideas before they move into writer's workshop later in the day. Or of course, you could just have this be a standalone question that you ask for fun during morning meeting. Then the morning activity, move around the room like a horse, a giraffe, or an elephant. This one is silly. It's always fun to incorporate a sense of humor and fun and movement into morning meeting. This one is really uh, kind of a silly, fun game to play with your students. And then lastly, we have the morning message. I hope that you found the January morning meeting ideas in today's video to be helpful. If you liked the slides that I used in today's video, be sure to check out the link in the video description down below so you can grab your own copy. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about morning meeting in the month of January. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and during Vlogmas, I'm posting a new video every single day in December up until Christmas. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye friends.